What's up, CK? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes. My name is Alex Waters. I'm coming to you from Virginia Beach today at Hot 100. Where are you in the world right now? I'm in Lagos, Nigeria right now. So uh, let's start with a little conversation about the music from your homeland. You are the second Nigerian artist in history to debut a song on the Billboard Hot 100 chart right after Wizkid. And you've performed with Wizkid as well. So I want to ask, are you going to make another Wiz styled move and maybe do a collaboration with Justin Bieber anytime soon? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, for me, though, like I just do my thing. You know, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do what another person is doing. You know what I mean? It may not be Justin Bieber. It may be someone else. It may, it may be Justin Bieber. I don't know. But for me, I just, I just kind of go with the vibes. I feel like, you know, collaborations happen when there's a vibe. You know, as much as managers try to orchestrate them and a and like if the vibe isn't there, it's just not going to happen. So... Yeah, for me, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my thing. You know? I understand. Let's get to know you a little bit better. Back in 2017, you dropped your first record, which was called "Who the F Is CK," and that's kind of the question I want to ask. Could you define you or your music or both in three words? Uh, I'll say two words actually. Africa's boyfriend. And my music in two words is emo Afrobeats. And that is what you call yourself on social media too, Africa's boyfriend. With Valentine's Day coming up here in America, that's uh, taken on a brand new meaning. Do you guys do that in Nigeria as well? Absolutely. It's, it's kind of what people call me, actually. I don't call myself. <laughs> you know, you don't call yourself a name. People call you a name. So it's kind of, it's kind of where it came from. And it just stuck. So I, I took it. Okay, so what is Africa's boyfriend planning to do this Valentine's Day? Anything special you've got in mind? Absolutely, but if I if I disclosed it, what fun would that be? <laughs> <laughs> You're not one to kiss and tell, one might say. I like to, I love surprises a lot. You feel me? And I like to, I like people to experience things at the right time in the right way. So. On Valentine's Day, you're going to find out. <laughs> Speaking of things happening at the right time, we've seen a lot of songs lately here in America on the charts, on the billboards, that have come up a long way, fell down a little bit, and then come back to life. Uh, recent examples like Levitating by Dua Lipa or Glass Animals with their song Heat Waves. And your song is kind of similar, except it has a fun international flavor. Love Nuan TT was a big hit in Africa. And then after that run was all over with, it is becoming a hit. It's on its way up here on the American charts. How does that feel to know that your song has a second life? That's got to be kind of cool. It is cool. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's a very stubborn song, you know, it's a stubborn vibe. Like it just won't go away, <laughs> you know, but shout out to everyone vibing to it um it's crazy i see the love from the u.s lots of people supporting and uh, i appreciate that i can't wait to come through and um do my tour and see everyone face to face is there one spot in particular maybe that you're really looking forward to playing when you get to go on tour um i don't really know all the the venues in the u.s and all that but uh one day I'll, I would like to play at Madison Square soon, one day soon. But okay. uh, yeah, right now um, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna I'm just perform around. I'm just, I'm just go around and I'll, you might just catch me in a city near you. Speaking that into existence, I like it. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of a wave right now where you're a huge part of that. Afrobeats and African musicians in general are becoming so much more popular over here in America. Uh, people are discovering your music and wondering maybe a little bit more about the culture. So real quick, could you kind of describe, there's another language you sing and uh, that's not English and love one TT. And uh, could you quickly sort of describe how your culture and your language relates to your music? Yeah, so um, love one TT, um, it's, I sang it in English, pidgin English, which is like a, 
It's like a broken down version of English spoken in West Africa. And Igbo, Igbo is a Southeastern Nigerian language. It's my native language. And um, yeah, I'll say the language has a lot to do with the music and the culture because, you know, the, the music and the language, it's, it's like, it's like one and the same. If you speak a different language on the music, like if you sing pure English on an Afro beat, it just doesn't hit the same. You know, the beats and the language kind of go hand in hand. The food, the percussions sound like the country, you know? <laughs> if you've been to Nigeria and you listen to the music, you can just, you know, you can see that the country and the music are the same thing. So yeah, it has a lot to do with it. And it's been evolving over the years from, you know, the high life musicians and Fela Kuti in the 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, to the present Afrobeats we have right now that is very commercial and very pop that, you know, the rest of the world is vibing to. So, yeah, it's just been, it's, I'll say Afrobeats is just, it's a genre that just captures the African spirits decade in, decade out, and it evolves as time goes on. Absolutely. And the end result is a beautiful song. Love Nguyen TT is very catchy. It sounds very cool. Uh, we love playing it here on Hot 100 in Virginia Beach. And we can't wait for you to come to the US of A and show it off to the whole world. CK, I really appreciate your time here today. Thank you for having me.